Here are the materials that you will need. Bubble wrap, paint and paintbrush, pencil and ruler, paper, and the background paper. You do not need the big bubble wrap. Definitely recommend just using the small bubble wrap. First, you take the bubble wrap and flip it over so it's the bubble side up, and then paint the top of the bubbles. Don't use a small paintbrush, use a large one so that you can go over the top nice and smoothly. It doesn't have to be soaked into the bottom. You want it to be just on the surface of the bubbles. So don't make your paint too wet. You can mix colors. You can do it all yellow, but I think it looks really great if you blend the yellow and maybe some orange or red. We're going to fast forward a bit to make it go a little faster. But take your time. Then you're going to take your bubble wrap and flip it over and press, press it, it onto the white paper so you can make your honeycomb. Okay. Don't smear it. Alright, you want to pick it up? Then set it yeah. aside to dry. That looks so cool. We tried the large bubble wrap, but it did not seem to go very well. I think the small bubble wrap's definitely the way to go. Also, we used watercolor, but you can use other types of paint. Just be sure to make sure you protect your table and your parents allow. Then set it out to dry before we cut it and make it into our cards. I made my own stencil from an old cereal box. You don't need to use a stencil at all, but it makes it easier, especially if you have young kids or if you're working in person with your troop. So we took the stencil, folded the piece of paper in half, Place it. put the stencil on top oh. and traced out the hexagon. Okay, cut it out. Then you cut your hexagon out of the paper, remembering to keep the side with a fold intact so you can turn it into a card. The next step is to cut a hexagon out of the paper with the bubble wrap stamped on it. If you have a stencil, be sure that stencil is smaller than the first one so you have an outline. Otherwise, just use your hexagon first and cut this one a bit smaller. Then glue the bubble wrap hexagon to the outside of the card. Next, we like to write thank you to thank our volunteers for helping us with the cookie sale. You could also make smaller ones that say thank you and give them to your customers. Writing in pencil on the outside first, then copying over with a marker is the best plan. Then your personal note on the inside. Thank you to all of our wonderful cookie sellers and cookie volunteers to help this season be great.